I got questions in regards to, hey, can we use two different DAW controllers as an extension for the other? And I'm happy to say that the answer is yes. Of course, you can use your own dedicated extender device, like for example, the P1X for the P1M, but if you have two different DAW controllers, it is possible. All you have to do is make sure that we're using Mackie devices. If we're doing that, then good, proceed on. First off, go to ImageLine's website, sign in, and in the help tab, you're gonna see the forum boards. Click on that. Next, you're gonna look for MIDI device or MIDI scripting. And after that, you're gonna see the MIDI scripting list. Click on that. You're gonna to wanna to search for Mackie. And then right there, you're gonna see the Mackie extender. Click on that tab. Click on the .zip file right there, and you'll be able to download it. Extract the .zip folder, and you'll be left with two contents in there. You're gonna to wanna to put this under the hardware tab in your directory. So first off, if you have no idea how to do that, go ahead and go to Options, File Settings, and then you'll see something called User Data Folder. Follow the directory that it says right there for you. Next up, you'll go to FL Studio, Settings, Hardware. You're gonna wanna take that downloaded folder that you extracted and drag that whole folder over to this window. You could close it off now. Then in the MIDI tabs in your Settings in FL Studio, click Update MIDI Scripts. You may want to also press refresh device list too, depending. Now it's as simple as setting your devices accordingly. For your main hub, you're gonna to want to click on the controller type and set it to the Mackie Control Universal. And make sure you're in the scripts tab and not the legacy or the built-in. And then for the extender, go to Mackie Control Universal Extender. Couple more things. Make sure that your ports are lining up and they are the same numbers. And lastly, for the main controller, Make sure that has the Send Master Sync enabled. Don't worry about the extender one. But as you can see here, I am moving the fader for one, and you can see Insert 9 on the other device that has the display, and I move it and it works. So this is how you could turn your DAW controllers into an extender, or to use an extender with your controller in the first place. Thank you for watching, and if you want to learn about music, go ahead and check out my website, justinomoe.com, where you can get my entire course where I create music from the ground up, and I teach you everything there is about music. With that being said, peace. I'm out, and please have yourselves a good one.